In this video, I'll be covering sunburst charts and how you can plot them in Python using Plotly Express. Before I dive in, let me talk to you about the environment I'm using and the dependencies. I'm using Jupyter Notebooks by the Anaconda Individual Edition. This comes with many useful data analysis libraries such as Pandas. It doesn't come with Plotly pre-installed, so I've had to install that via the command pip install Plotly. If you're unfamiliar with Pandas, and are completely new to data visualization in Python, then this video won't make much sense to you. So I do recommend you cover the basics first. I have a course on Python for data analysis and visualization, which can help you get started. I'll provide links with more information on this, including installation of the dependencies in the description. Okay, so let's talk about sunburst charts. This is a data visualization technique that can display hierarchical data using nested slices. The size of each of the slices are controlled by a variable that you can assign. Sunburst charts can also be known as multi-level pie charts or radial tree maps. Okay, so with that being said, let me talk you through the data preparation steps. So I've imported the relevant libraries, Plotly Express as PX and Pandas as PD, and I'm using the sample dataset that's built into Plotly. It's from Gapminder and contains information for countries across multiple years. Information such as the population, life expectancy, and so on. I filtered this sample dataset to include only data for the year 2007, and I've stored the data in a data frame called DF. You can see the first five records here to get an idea of what the data looks like. And you can see that there's a hierarchy. You have a column for continent and a column for country. Each country belongs to a continent. I'll be using this dataset to plot the sunburst charts. So the syntax for a sunburst chart is to type px.sunburst, and inside of the parenthesis you have a number of arguments you can provide. This is the official syntax, and I'll also link this with the description. So you need to include the data frame as the first argument. You can then also provide many other optional arguments to determine how your plot looks. I want to plot a sunburst chart that contains information for each country and size each slice based on that country's population. So I can type px.sunburst and then for the data frame pass in df and then I use a path argument. The path argument takes a column or a list of columns that defines the hierarchy. Because I only want to plot countries, I can just pass in countries inside of the list. Each slice will represent a single country, and I want each slice to be based on the population. So for the values argument, I can pass in pop. So as you can see, each country is assigned a slice of the pie. The size is proportionate to the population. This is essentially just a pie chart, because we've only got a single column in the hierarchy. If I hover over any of the slices, you can see additional information in the label. Okay, so now let me add continent to the hierarchy. So essentially going from continent to country. So I have to write continent before country, separate them with a comma. So now you can see the hierarchy. Each continent has its own slice in the innermost section. And each country, which is the second in the hierarchy, has a slice in the outer section. And each country is aligned with the continent that it belongs in. And the chart is also interactive. So if I click into a continent, it can drill down. You can also modify how the slices are colored using the color argument. So if I color based on the population, I can just use the color argument and type pop. So now we have a legend. The yellow represents the highest population down to the dark blue, which is the lowest population. And if you don't like this color scale, you can specify a number of different scales in the color underscore continuous underscore scale argument. Let me change it to ORRD. So I can type color continuous scale equals ORRD. So now it's a bit easier to differentiate the higher and lower population countries. Let me change it to RDBU. 
And if you wanted to color each slice based on a different column, such as the life expectancy, you can as well by passing in life ex, which is the column for life expectancy here. Okay, so that was an introduction to sunburst charts using Plotly Express. They can be great at summarizing large amounts of hierarchical data in a limited amount of space. It's great for showing patterns that would otherwise be difficult to spot. There are limitations to sunburst charts though. Negative values can't be displayed, and they're also not as useful when there's a large difference in the measure of the values. There's also a lot more customization you can do to these charts to get it to look and feel exactly as you want. For more information, follow the links that I'll provide in the description. And this notebook that I've been working on will also be available on my GitHub, which I'll also link. Great, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give a like and subscribe for more content.